white building on the lower left is the hospital. The smaller white building is the chapel dedicated on March 1st, 1946. Pastor Lester and Alda Hershey leaving church services. The First services on Sunday morning in the Calvary Mennonite Church were English services, attended mainly by the service workers from the states. This picture was taken at dismissal of worship services in 1948. This group picture includes hospital, agriculture, community service, sanitation, and staff personnel from the states. Originally, each person came for a two-year term. Later, it was reduced to 18 months. They were from many parts of the United States, especially the Midwest. These were taken in 1949. They not only served in the community, but also many helped in Spanish Sunday school and Bible school. The church also had a weekly broadcast, Voice of Calvary. The quartet which sang on this broadcast were Eldo Neufeld, Willard Good, Lester Hershey, and John Driver. At the close of Spanish services was a good time for Spanish-speaking and service personnel to visit outside the church. This was one baptism class in July of 1948. Lester Hershey in the back on the right. This was a baptism class of December 1948. This shows the church members in December of 1948. This baptism class was April of 1949 and these are the church members in April of 1949. An Easter sunrise service was held in 1948 on top of one of the mountains near the La Plata Valley. A couple of the fellows carried loudspeaker equipment up the mountain the evening after before Easter so that at the crack of dawn they could play Easter music recordings as the entire church English and Spanish climbed the mountain the service was sent by loudspeaker into the valley around and so fulfilling the admonition of the songwriter go tell it on the mountain young and old came to enjoy this new type of service which includes special speakers and music by the quartet some of the group returned to the valley after the service. Mose Beachy, Aldo Nudefelt, Evelyn and Willard Good, Esther Lehrman, John and Bonnie Driver, Louise Deckert, Isaac Frederick, Elnor Weaver, Paula Santos, Linnea Peachy, Leo Swartzenruber, Alda Hershey, and Luke Berkey some of the workers leaving church services. Fred Springer ring, ringing the bell for start of Bible school. Each church had to a bell at, to remind the community when services start. Also loud speakers on the top of the church building to send the services over the Lapata Valley. There was an average attendance of 173 each day and it was conducted for two weeks. Both Puerto Rican Christians and service personnel taught Bible school. Happy children came from all directions and form lines in their respective age group. They come neatly dressed and a lot of anticipation for their class in Bible school. They gather at the entrance of the church and prepare to file into the building with their teachers. John Driver and Francisco Rolón Two of the teachers file in with their class to the church auditorium and have worship and singing together. John Driver leads the singing. Craft classes are held outside with boys with Luke Berkey as leader. One of the crafted projects was to make all wall mottos and other things for in their homes. 
Girls' crafts are also held outside. Evelyn Good and Mary Lover are leaders. They are making various wall mottos and other things for their homes. Worship, Bible teaching, crafts, and recreation are all part of Bible school experience. One of the recreation activities that the children enjoyed was the tug of war. All boys and men participated. John Brandeberry supervised this activity. Children came from at least a mile in each direction from the La Plata Church. Esther Lehrman's class. Beulah Whit Litwiller using flannel graph to teach her class of boys and girls. Alda Hershey and Francisco Rolón's class with Lester Hershey helping. The entire Bible school with children in front rows and teachers in the back. This, the entire Spanish church in 1949. The first conference of the Mennonite Church of Puerto Rico was held at La Plata in the Calvary Mennonite Church in March 1949. People line up at the Lester Hershey's garage to fill their plates and then sat out on the lawn. T.K. Hershey, missionary for more than 30 years in Argentina, South America, is standing along the garage. Included in the conference were the churches of La Plata, Pogilius, Rabanal, and Palo Encado. The conference was to inform the church members of the progress of the church work, to inspire them to go forward in the work of the Lord, to encourage the young people to work more for the Lord, and to give everyone a vision of the possibilities of the work of the Mennonite Church in Puerto Rico. A truckload of about 50 people from the Pata Church came up the mountain to take part in the dedication of the new church building at Rabanal. Preaching services were started September 27, 1947, on a Saturday afternoon. The dedication of the Good Shepherd Mennonite Church building was on October 3, 1948. Linda Reimer and Marjorie Schantz returned to Puerto Rico as mission workers. They spent much of their time in helping in the work at Robinal, and since both were nurses, they organized a clinic for the people and organized Sunday school church activities, women's meetings, children's meetings, and worked with the youth of the area. A, a church building was built in Pulgilius and dedicated August 25, 1946. The work was begun by Paul and Lois Lover, who arrived in Puerto Rico in December 1945. On September 4th, 1949, a new church building at Batania Church was dedicated. The building would accommodate 300 people. The former church building was turned into a Christian day school and opened up for the first time on August 16, 1948. The building is to the right is the school.